I'm not talking about the mode of transport you used. I'm asking, how did you get here emotionally, mentally, spiritually? Is what you're projecting on the outside the same as the inside? What are you trying to hide, my friend? What was your story? Feeling lost was my story. I feel lost in the clouds of my spiritual highs. I feel torn and broken by all these judgmental eyes. My vision gets blurry as I soar through the sky. I wipe away my tears knowing I'm not supposed to cry. At school I hide behind the walls of my humour, whereas inside me grows my loneliness like a tumour. I use jokes and laughter as ammunition to my fuel, so I don't get pierced by judgement and ridicule. I look for living water, for that is what I seek, the well in the wilderness when things are starting to look bleak. Craving safety was mine. I wanted zero connection. I stayed in a greenhouse of protection. It was comforting. It was no suffering. But a place of safety is not a place of flourishing. This relationship with my Father in Heaven, I was called to use this freedom for others, not for me. Not for my own selfish things. I was forgiven to step into my calling. Vision was my story. My life was hopeless. My mind dark like an abyss. Life did not amaze me. It was amazed itself. But it was God who knows me better than I did and ever could. And when I would want to give up that name, it was God that gave me a reason to keep on living. Falling again and again and again was my story. I'll start fresh, I'll start tomorrow, but in the end, tomorrow never came. Never have I been so gullible to my own words. Falling in the trap that had planted my head, it became a routine. Something every day that I said. It was until I stooped to an all time low and I realized I had just nowhere to go. I straight off the path, now feeling God's wrath, I was pushed to my limits that this body can handle the stress, the tests, the exceptions uncontrollable I had to seek God. Thinking, pondering, ever so wondering what will it take. For him to take me back, what will it take for me to be filled? Self-hatred is my story. For years I've been tying these ropes, I've been trying to rebuild this bridge between myself and I. But the I is ideal and the self is not enough. So I'll hide and conceal, I'll suppress and I'll bluff. I'll live a lie, I'll become Maybe then will the I and the self fall in line. Maybe then will I love myself. Maybe then will I accept it. But wrong, I was wrong. That is not how to live. For a life full of lies is a life full of sin, and nothing will take you faster to hell than your own self torment and torture of self. There was an answer. There was a way for me to climb out of this cycle. Finding quick fixes was my story, but what they do is make me thirsty. They all tell me I'm just a teacher. You can't live without me. If you knew enough, you wouldn't want me. I know it all. It was a whisper, wind on dry lips. I have water for the dirty, I have life for your pain, I don't have a bucket in hand, but I'm the one who will sustain, even in a drought, no rain. I'll bring you life every day in your soul, you'll never thirst again. This dust you've inhaled may now become fertile soil, lest I uproot shame, plant an eternal seed. I who speaks to you, 
and heat. You see, all of our stories reflect one glory. One all creating, all filling, loving thing. Christ, the true greenhouse, the one who forgives, the one who understands. God is why I am still alive and why my life still is purpose. God is my Father, Christ is my friend. He's gracious and kind to all. God is my shepherd who leaves the 99 to come and look for me. Christ is the one in whom I am found. It is through his eyes that I love myself. So go, declare it, share it. I am he. Be filled with the trash you are now.